Yo Senjus are back finally. We have comma one alongside comma two and comma three. The brand new one is comma one and it is so good. What it does is it returns face up cards your opponent controls. Back to the hand. There can only be one winner and you're looking at it. Let's go. This build is inspired by my last Yosinju build where we are playing Draw Sense Fire. After we lose 1500 life, we could add a Lava Golem from our deck to our hand. Lava Golem, tribute two of your opponent's monsters and you were playing Yami Merrick. So you wanna play Merrick with this to get that cutscene. Tribute their monsters, give them the Golem, then they burn for a thousand in every standby phase. And then we use our back rows like Drowning, Sting, Kite Ride, OEM, to hold them up, to stall them, and then you win the duel, burn them. That isn't our main win condition, but it is a great one. Now, if we draw our Lava Golem, or we didn't use Draw Sense Fire, and we give them Lava Golem, what we could do is we could Drowning Mirror Force. This deck, usually, we have no monsters on the field, so Drowning is such a good card in this deck. You could use any other card if you want to. Don't worry if you're missing Drowning. When they attack directly, return all monsters they control in attack position back into the deck. So. When they attack with Lava Golem, return it to your own deck, draw Sense Fire, redraw it. Very nice. Also, Sting. Reveal up to two different Yosin Jews, return any two face up cards in the field back to the hand, give Golem back to us, then give them back the Golem by tributing two other monsters. Great. Very good stall card. But this is all about the comma one, comma two, comma three. All of the commas on summon can perform an additional summon. So if you summon one, you then activate to summon two, then you activate to summon three. So let's pretend like we have all three on the field. With all three on the field, comma one can return a face-up card back to the hand. Comma two can attack directly for half of its attack. And then comma three, when you deal battle damage with a different Yosenju, you get to search your deck for any Yosenju card. You could even search for the Yosenju trap. What about the other Yosenjus? You have Isna. Now, Isna and Sujik, they don't allow you to perform an additional summon, but what Isna does is if you control another Yosenju, draw a card. This is great. Early in the game, turn one, comma one, summon Isna, draw a card, do it every single turn. Also, Sujik. Sujik on the field, you could boost up any of your Yosenjus by plus 1,000, or while in the hand, discard it in the damage step to buff boost. And all of these Yosenjus I mentioned, they go back to the hand, in the end phase, you get hit by a wall D, you get hit by anything that disrupts them or their attack goes down, they go back in the hand, they reset, and that's why you have to play off the Stings, the Drowning Mirror Force, the Kite Roids, which is now at the Card Trader, everyone can obtain it. If they attack directly, negate the attack, negate the damage, and also while in the grave, negate it again, so it's very protective, very important to play this card in this deck. Now. Oyam is one of the best cards in this deck. If they attack directly, you special summon an Oyam. Special summon it in defense. So if you give them Lava Golem, they attack with Lava Golem. You're gonna activate Oyam from the hand, which you could search for with the comma three by discarding a Yosenju, summon it on the field in defense. When they attack into the Oyam, you're going to change its attack in defense equal to their attack. So when a Lava Golem attacks an Oyam, it becomes 3000 attack, 3,000 defense, nothing they could do, you're protected, they burn for 1,000 every turn, you win the duel. Now, the effect to gain attack and defense is not once per turn. So if they attack with a smaller monster first, feel free to summon it. They attack, it will gain the attack of the smaller one. They attack with Lava Golem, you'll gain the attack of the Lava Golem. This deck is crazy fun, very powerful, very obnoxious for your opponent. You will definitely be sending fools Back to Fortnite, have at it. Yeah. Well, let's get setting. Do we really want to swing into that face down? It could be an Ancients, right? That's not Q. Ancients is not Q. We could poke him with the comma. Now comma can attack directly, even if you don't control another Yosenju. New. Attack, check for Kite Roid. He's got Sphere, Kite Roid, something. All right. Back to the hand. 
I'm Leah Luster. Can I get a cringe whip nene for my four month anniversary? Cringe whip nene. There you go. I don't know what that is, but you got it. Soul Piercer. Now, Soul Piercer says when sent to the grave while on the field, right? If sent from the field to the graveyard. So if I sting him right now, if I sting him, he's not going to get the search. But I don't think it's really that worth of a play right now. Cheese play master shadow is good again in TCG Konami. When do we get them in Duel Links? Going for level five. Level six is what we care about. He has not normal summoned yet, so we do need to take that into consideration. If he normal summons a Flutus, we have to return the field back to the hand. Okay? Pay attention to the Flutist. Soul Piercer Chain Link 3. Wow. That means he's going to search his deck, then after the shuffle, rearrange the top five cards with the Giga Gloves. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Six years ago, I won $600 playing with Shadows. I don't think I spent most of it. Okay, so he's going to go to defense. And then what we could do is we could just return both of them back to the hand. Pretty easy. Because we don't want him to activate to go back into attack position. Very easy. Return. Return the fools. Got him. Now, if there was a delay to the sting, you would know he would have a quick play card like a Cosmic Cyclone, but this deck don't play that. It don't play that. Do we have lethal when the fun has just begun? Unfortunately, yes. It is unfortunate. No, actually, he's got the Giga Gloves. The fun is still on. The party is on. Let's go. Also, he did have a card in the hand to negate our attack, like a Sphere Kribo or a Kite Roid. So we are still in it. We are still in it. Boom. That's the Kite Roid. Back to the hand. It's permanently at zero, but not when it goes back to the hand. Hey, hey, hey. Ogre wiping out the drownings would be devastating. But we have Kyroid. So what he should do is he should grab a Piercer. He should know that I have no delays right now. He should grab a Piercer or Soul Horns. And, uh, you know, get popping. Get ready. Get popping. Get popping. Soul Horns is good. Soul Horns is good. He could double attack with the Ogre after wiping out our back row cards. Very good. Piercer could have searched for that anyway. All right, wipe it. Oof, this is a crazy duel. This is a crazy duel. He's got the double attack, so we have to kite roid. Whoa, huge, huge. Wow, 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 negate. I mean, are we ever gonna take 3,700 again? I think this is a good negate. This is a good negate. I negate. We don't negate, then we would probably lose to something smaller next turn. Ooh. Ooh. Two, one, two. Not one, two, two. You can't do that. Two, one, two. Let's go. Comma. Number one. Comma. Number two. Comma one. Return the fool. Back to the extra deck. He does have a kite roid. Does he have more than a kite roid? We'll see. It's a good duel. Attack. No delay after the kite roid. He doesn't have another. Yes. Back to Fortnite. Great duel. Comma one. Comma one.
Karma 1, 3, Isna. Yes, please. Yes, please. Karma 3. Isna. Now, this is enough damage for lethal, right? We don't need to play into... We don't have to play tie that binds in this build, right? Let's draw. <laughs> we have to play tie that binds. Maybe. Maybe tie that binds is the way. Let's set it up. Let's sting him. All right. For anyone in the chat who says I can't sting him, you're right. Right now I can't because the, I just said it this turn, but also they're all going to go back to the hand. So don't tell me I can't sting him. We good? Let's go. Ease. Nah. Trigger. The Karma 3. Now, if anything goes wrong here, we could grab the OEM. OEM, when he declares a direct attack, we could discard to summon to protect ourselves. But I feel well protected already. Let's just grab Karma 2. Comma 2, which can attack directly for lethal next turn. Attack! Attack! Yes! We could play Shadow Game, potentially. Or we like drawing into Lava Golem. So don't get excited just because a Shadow Game or Time That Binds would have won the game right here, right now. We're not playing for a win more situation. If we already win this game, and you're thinking we need tie that binds, then that's not a good use of tie that binds. We need tie that binds for a duel that we would not have won that would win us the duel. Please have that mindset. Do not win more. We need to win. Insight, let's go. Uh, 25 gifted subs? What? What you talking about? Something clever, thank you for the nine months. No refunds. Enjoy the baby, thank you, something clever. Right now it's fusing. Let's go. Let's go. Autism Prime with a tier one for four months. Hello, DK. Thanks to you and your incredibly helpful tips and gameplay guides. I have managed to climb from Legend 3 to Plat 4. You climbs backwards. Thanks a lot and keep it up. Thank you, Autism Prime. Keep on going and one day you will be bronze. All right. Now, if we sting right now, then he cannot equip a card. And sting does target, but we also have drowning. So we don't have to very carefully play around it. We're good. We're safe. Oh my Jesus, we're not safe. What the? Who plays that? Oof. Okay. Not Q. Definitely not Q. That was really not Q. So let's sting. Then he'll negate. That's okay. You, just to return, you, return it. Now Sting says you can only activate one Sting per turn. Okay, let's see what that means. What does it mean to only be able to use one Sting per turn? Let's wait for him to negate our card that targets. It means that the activation was negated, so... I am technically only activating one per turn. If it said you could only use a sting per turn, if you could only use it, even when the activation is negated, you are still not able to get stinging. But we don't really need to use the other sting right now. Let's go. Karma, one, two, three. The whole gang is here. Let's go. R return of the red eyes. Okay, that will summon a red eyes from the grave. Okay, let go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Karma one into karma two. Karma two into karma three. Very nice. Now, activate. Comma one, the brand new one. Return the Slash Dragon. Back to the extra deck. Set. Now, Karma two, attack directly. Fool. Yo Senju, boy. Yo Senju.